does the Kabuki open trap bar stack up against the competition? Let's talk about why a neutral grip deadlift bar or multi-use bar. From just the deadlift perspective, with the neutral grip, we take out pronation and supination from the movement, and some coaches find this both easier to teach on the deadlift, and some studies show you get additional quad activity during the movement. Now, opening the bar up actually allows this to be used for a whole lot more. So, single leg movements without interference. No safety issue with stepping into it. Large bodied athletes can get in and out easier. Rowing movements, curling, overhead pressing with no interference. Abs. There's much more beyond this that you can do with an open trap bar. And of course, everybody loves the built-in jack. But now I wanna compare the Kabuki bar directly to some of the top competitors. One of those being a European manufacturer, Another one being based in Canada, manufacturing in China. Another one based in USA, manufactured in China. But how do we stack up? <laughs> Sleeve length. Kabuki's is 17 inches. Most of those competitors, 10 to 12 inches. That means, actually, that is all the weight you can put on one of these bars. Versatility. So Kabuki has not only different sized handles that you can choose from, different widths that you can go to, two different heights. None of the manufacturers have this. Some of them have a single height, or maybe two heights, one being in, one being out, so you, you just can't have a selection of where you want the handle at. Knurling. Two of the competitors have pretty mediocre knurling. Nobody holds up to Kabuki on warranty. The European manufacturer offers a five-year warranty. One of the other manufacturers offers a lifetime warranty, but not for studio or commercial use. So what does that tell you about the product? And Kabuki, of course, wins hands down yet again with a lifetime warranty. The only area Kabuki doesn't come out on top is price. So the European bar is significantly more expensive than Kabuki's. There are two bars that are on the lower end, as you kind of guessed. So we're in the middle ground, but on the premium end of that middle ground when it comes to pricing. As a whole, you can make your decision, where does it fall out? 